A Look at Seniors is underwritten with the generous support of Centers Healthcare. Heart, health, home. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Okay. Yes, it's our weekly segment, A Look at Seniors. I get all excited. I can't tell if it's my age or because Lois Celeste, who is the uh, executive director of the Saratoga Senior Center, is so good at what she does. And you always bring interesting guests in. And today's guest is Judy Lahoda Taylor. And she's with an organization called Office Dahoda. Did I say Lahoda? You did. Yeah, I did. Make, make a D. Okay. Yeah. Judy Dahoda <laughs> Taylor, who's with an organization called Office for the aging. So welcome. Welcome Thank back. You. Thanks, Jess. Thank you. How was the skiing? It was outstanding. Yeah, it was. Okay, don't talk about it. Now, the uh, Office for the Aging, an organization that I know many of our viewers have heard about and whatever. Um, this particular office is in Saratoga County. It is for correct? the county. It is a county department, yeah. Got it. So you service Saratoga County. Residents, yep. I got it. Now, um, Office for the Aging uh, has a very particular mission. And what is that? Our mission is to keep the seniors in home safely um, and also for socialization to be able to get them to a senior center like Lois's or many of them that are scattered throughout the county. But we want them to age in place. Most seniors don't want to go to a nursing home or assisted living. They want to be safe in their homes. Yes, I've got it. Now, I would assume that if you're talking about someone aging in place, that you've got issues of safety, that you have issues of support, what else would you have? Transportation, yes. nutrition, um, you know, just basically needs. Families can't be there. Families can't be there all the time for their seniors, their mm -hmm. parents, their grandparents maybe. So we want to provide another support area that they can come to and get more support from. And I would imagine too, you know, I asked them before we went on air, I said, do people um, in that age group, do they ever get lonely? You know, and then I think about socialization, and then I think about what you do. Yeah, it's the key to what we do. I mean, senior centers are there for people for socialization. We know keeping them socialized keep them, keeps them healthy. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, we do a lot of the programming. We, you know, work together with the, with the county on transportation issues and all of that and working with their caseworkers, whatever we have to do. I mean, the goal is to to reach out to all of our seniors, to actually touch mm -hmm. them. There's a lot of different seniors. There's people that are um, at home. There's people that are still active. There's people that are being relocated here. You know, all of that is, yeah, we try to centralize. You know, a lot of people say, oh, no, everybody who's 65 or older, they head to Florida in the winter. <laughs> That's not correct. No. A lot of us love the seasons and the change in the seasons and love just the sense you could walk out and on a crisp winter morning, right? You know what I mean? There's been a few of those in the ice yeah, that's right. sidewalks. You're going to talk about the skiing again, aren't you? I know you are. The, um, so, you know, so much of what you do, Lois, is to, so at the Senior Center, there are plenty of activities, right? Sure. And this year's theme, of course, is innovation. Right. So when you see the people come in, you, they may come in for one reason, and then all of a sudden you notice other things about them. Mm -hmm. You get to know them. Mm -hmm. So in, in terms of the innovations you do, and how that interfaces with the office. Sure, I mean, we can think outside the box. I mean, it's, it's a little different. We work closely with them. Part of the Community Connections Program, which yes, is our right. volunteer match program, is funded by the county. Mm. And so, you know, I can do things a little differently than they can do things. And But the goal is still the same. Yes. Help all the seniors work together, you know. So so we do the volunteer match program. You know, we, we yes, we do all our activities, our classes, our trips all of that, but uh, you know, there's always different new innovative programs that we're doing and bringing. And I think even um, last Friday talking about, I think we talked about this in the previous segment of the concierge medicine to seniors. Yes, right, you sure. know, some things, um, trying to think outside the box mm -hmm. and how do we get, keep our seniors safe, keep them socialized, transportation. The Community Connections of Volunteer Match Program matches seniors in need whatever it could be. They may need some, some basic respite at the house. Mm -hmm. um, they may need a ride to still go get their hair done. They may need, yeah, sure. you know, just somebody to keep them company, a pet sit, help mm -hmm. them with their yard, help them, you know, maintain something small in their house that they just can't do anymore. Mm -hmm. And that's all done through this volunteer match program. And, and that's one thing that Lois and I both need volunteers. Um, the county has RSVP program, which is Retired Senior Volunteer Program, mm -hmm. which our volunteers come in 
and we can have them deliver meals. We deliver almost 635 meals a day to seniors within Saratoga County. So maybe wow. you're not a senior, mm -hmm. maybe you're retired and you're over 55, but you're, you don't want to go to, to this um, senior center to you know, play bingo or to socialize, but you want to be out in the community. Mm -hmm. So both of us need those seniors that yeah. maybe are a little bit more active and want to go serve the residents of Saratoga County or the city of Saratoga. Well, we are looking for those. Yeah, sure. The, uh, believe it or not, the fastest growing segment of the population is 85 plus. That's the one statistic that really numbs me, you know? It is. And that when you think about that, that anybody who is recently retired it's a wonderful opportunity. You're not only bonding with other people, you're helping them out, you know, and let's face it, if that segment of the population is growing, then the need is there for volunteers, yeah. right? Yeah, and just like our volunteers who deliver meals, um, it's not just giving someone a meal, it's a safety check. Mm -hmm. They have to see the person, they have to go in and actually mm -hmm. hand them the meal. They make sure they're okay, and we've had several instances where volunteers report right back to us and say there's something not right with, with right. my client with the senior today can you need to do a wellness check so well, we you know, go from there something that you mention all the time is that someone will come in and over the years and that doesn't necessarily have to be a number of years you see a change in them mm -hmm. you start to recognize that the, mm -hmm. their first need is not the need or their needs are growing is yeah. probably a better way to say it, right? We become kind of their home. A lot of people rely on us, they trust they us, sure they do. meet their friends there. Right. And yeah, when we see the changes, it's easy for us to reach out to a service and see what the need is or call their family, right. you know, and just say, are you aware of this? You know, yes. it's somebody keeping a pulse on them. Yes, got it. I asked a question right um, before the interview, um, and I asked Judy, I said, you know, around the holiday time, do you know, will people call even more frequently? And of course, it makes sense. They see somebody at Christmas, and they haven't seen them in six months, maybe, or they something. They see their mom and And they see mom is, something is different with mom, and mom wants to stay home, mom is stubborn, dad is even stubborner. <laughs> but maybe mom <laughs> and dad need help. Men being stubborn, this is a real problem. The... Uh, so, uh, what is a web address? Because I want to be able to... You can go to www.saratogacountyny.gov um, and then click on Office for the Aging. Our phone number is 518-884-4100. And you're based right in Boston We're Spa, based right? right in yeah, Boston sure. Spa, and we have caseworkers that cover all of Saratoga County. And like I said, I just want to mention, too, that we can provide some services for support in home also, too. Right. So maybe your parents don't want to take that meal. They don't, they don't, you know, they need just a little housekeeping or need a little personal care. Saratoga County can offer that too. We Whatever have, it is, and you've seen yes. so much of this right, right. firsthand. I right. bet you do. All right, well, it was very nice to meet you, Judy. Thank, Thank you. you for coming in. Wonderful organization, Office for the Aging, and of course dovetails with so much of what's being done at Saratoga Senior Center. Very innovative thinking and wonderful ways of connecting people. It really is. Thank you both Thank very you. much Thanks, for coming Jeff. in. Thanks. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.